What we are going to talk about today, well, may seem a little trivial. We're going back to elementary school. Addition! Okay, we're going to put a slight twist into it. We're going to do addition and subtraction in binary. Showing the effects just to make sure that everybody is on the right level whenever it comes to our next topic, which is, well, using binary to represent yet another thing. But before we do, let's talk about addition and subtraction. So we're looking at addition and subtraction. But the key is here that we're talking about it in binary. All right. So how do we do addition and subtraction in binary? Well, first of all, let's just go ahead and talk about addition and subtraction by doing an addition and a, and a subtraction. So let's add 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 to 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Now, hopefully this will make sense to you because all we're doing is using exactly the same principles just with fewer symbols to represent our, our base, right? So instead of having 10 de decimal digits, 0 through 9, in order to do addition in decimal, we've only got 0 and 1. So let's go ahead and do the addition. 0 plus 0 in any base is 0, right? 0 plus 1 in any base is 1. 1 plus 0 in any base is 1. 1 plus 1. Well, that's 2 in decimal, right? What is it in binary? Well, remember, 2 in binary is 1, 0. A 1 in the 2 to the 1 place and a 0 in the 2 to the 0 place. So, how do we represent that in a single column of our addition? Well, Turns out what we do is we put the ones place in the same column and then make a carry to the next column, right? Just like in decimal. I mean, if I had five plus five in decimal, that would equal zero with a carry to the one in the next column. So now we have one plus zero plus one. Well, once again, that's equal to two. So it's a zero in the ones column, a one in the twos column, a one carried into the next column. 1 plus 1 plus 0. Once again, that's 2. A 0 with a carry of a 1 into the next column. 1 plus 1 plus 1. Well, in decimal, that is 3. What does 3 equal in binary? Well, it's 2 plus 1, which means it's a binary 1, 1. So you put a 1 in the 1's column and put a carry of a 1 into the next column. 1 plus 0 plus 0, that's just one. All right. So did we do this correctly? Well, let's do a conversion and see if this worked out. What we've got is this is the, remember, this is the, and I don't know if this is going to show up very well, but this is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So it's the, these, these are the different powers of two represented by each one of these columns. So this top one, this is 64 plus 32 or 96 plus 8, 104 plus 4. This is actually equal to a decimal 108. All right. What about the next number? This is a 64 plus 16. That's 80 plus 8, 88, plus 2, that's 90 base 10, all right? This one right here, well, this is 128 plus 64. Goodness, that's what? 192 plus 4, that's 196, plus 2, that's 198. So 198. Well, did we do it correctly? Did the binary do the addition in the same way that decimal did? course it's all math right so 108 plus 90 is 198 so it looks like our addition in binary worked now let's talk about every possible way that we can look at an addition in a single column of a bit well <clears throat> 0 plus 0 that's just equal to 0 right 0 plus 1 that's this next column that's just equal to 1 1 plus 0 is equal to, once again, 1. 
And one plus one, that was our first one where we re required a carry. It's zero with a carry equal to one, right? Well, you could also look at these guys as with carry equal to zero with carry equal to zero with carry equal to zero. In fact, what we're looking at here is just simply a, well, a, uh, um, a, 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 we're always adding three digits together. This is, so if you look at any of these columns, columns except for the first column, these columns all also include a carry. It's just that for the first three, these three right here, the two, the four, the eighth column, those columns all just have a carry of zero. So this really, what we're looking at is zero plus zero plus. So we've got this column, which is the carry. Well, the three, uh, the four other ways that this could happen is we could have a carry with zero plus zero is equal to one with a carry equal to zero into the next column. One being the carry from the previous column, plus zero plus one is equal to zero with a carry of one, right? One plus one plus zero is equal to zero with a carry of one. And one plus one plus one is equal to one with a carry equal to one. So there's all of our possible combinations of ones and zeros that can happen in a single column. These first four are what happens whenever there's no carry coming in from the previous column. These last four are what happens when there's a carry coming in from the previous column, a carry of one coming in from the previous column. So if this makes sense to you, you can do addition in binary. What about subtraction? Well, let's take a look. Let's just go ahead and clear this row. This may take a moment for me to get this erased sufficiently. And well, instead of doing addition, what we're going to do is a subtraction. Let's see what happens. So now what we're going to do is we are going to subtract 90 from 108 and see what happens. Well, zero taken out of zero is what? In any, in any base, it's equal to zero. Now, what about taking one from zero? Well, taking one from zero, I can't do it. I've got to do a borrow. And in decimal, you're used to borrowing a 10 from the previous column in order to, in order to make it a, a, a 10 plus whatever it is that we need to borrow from, what we need to do the subtraction from. In this case, we are going to be borrowing a two, right? So we borrow one from the previous column. That makes this column now two. Two minus one, that's equal to one. 0 minus 0, that's equal to 0. 1 minus 1, that's equal to 0. Now we've got another one of these 0 minus 1s. We have to borrow from the previous column. Now that makes this column 2 minus 1, which is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. All right. Did it work? Well, Let's see, this is 16 plus 2 is 18, 108 minus 90, it's 18. Now, that looked a little tedious. And in fact, if you think about implementing this in hardware, which we will talk about later, how do you actually do mathematics with the transistors that are inside the processor? Turns out there's an easier way to do that. Next lesson, we'll show you how.